All right, today we'll be working on this haunted house display. We'll actually be cutting out this cat and placing it in the window. So I printed out a cat and then I drew where I need an extra piece of wood to hold it in place. And I'll probably be doing some pumpkins right here. We'll see how that turns out. And we're gonna cut it out with a scroll saw. So I need a really small scroll saw blade. All right, before I begin cutting the cat out, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this eighth inch plywood right here. And I'm just gonna cut out a small area and then glue this to it. And when you glue it, you actually only spray this uh, adhesive uh, all purpose on one side. If you spray it on the piece of wood and the paper, it'll actually create this permanent bond and then you, it'll be hard to get off. So just do on one side and glue it right on. So let me begin. All right, I got my piece of wood here and now I'm gonna glue this cat on here. Once again, only spray one side. I always spray the paper, not the piece of wood. All right, put it on. This helps it so it won't move around when you're using the scroll saw. Or if you were using a jigsaw or whatnot. So there you go. All right, let me cut it out and be right back. All right, I cut out the cat and now you can pull the piece of paper off. It's not sticky. It was easy to pull off. I also made a uh, pumpkin or two pumpkins, a little evil pumpkin and a happier pumpkin. And they'll actually go in the windows. One will go here on the back side, And then one, the cat will probably go up here in this window. And I'll just screw them on on the back side. They could probably be wood glued too, but I'm just gonna put a couple of small screws in there to hold it in place. And now I just need to paint everything is the next step and start assembling and adding lights. Be right back. All right, everything is painted now. And I also already assembled the hinge on the kick plate or kick stand, I guess. Uh, this will be on the back of the uh, house. So now I'm gonna have to drill the holes. I marked them right there. And then I'm gonna attach this kickstand and get this thing standing up. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna pre-drill the holes so that way there's no splintering. I don't know if you actually see here, but I actually cut the uh, screw short uh, because it was too long. And these were the ones that came with the hinge. So I just cut it with a, a saw or a Dremel. Now we're gonna attach these. These are the times we when you wish uh, you had three arms or four arms, but uh, hey, gotta do what God gave us. Watch out when you're uh, drilling because sometimes the knots throw your holes off and it doesn't work. So I had to re-drill uh, two holes and hopefully this will work this time. All right, it's attached. Never had uh, so much hard time screwing in something, but hey, now it's finally attached. Right at the bottom. Nice and even. I'm gonna put a chain here. It's gonna attach to here to here, so that way it doesn't extend farther than I want it to. 
Currently don't have a chain. I'll have that uh, next episode. But I'll assemble that when I do the lights. Alright, so now I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the tree. And I think I'm going to put it right here. It'd be easy just to screw this to it and, um, you know, make it all one piece. But I want to make it where you can pull the tree out and put it back in. Um, that way, for compact reasons, to store it or whatnot. So I'm going to use uh, this aluminum strip. I'm going to make an aluminum strip here. And I'm going to make one down here. And then I'm going to put something right here, like a blocker, to make it so it don't slide all the way through. Um, so let me get to making this and I'll be right back. All right, it took about a uh, four and a half inches of aluminum. I manually bent it so it's not the best, but it worked. And then I pre-drilled the holes so that way the hole, um, so the screws don't actually thread into the metal. They'll actually thread into the piece of wood. Now we're gonna put them on the board and figure out where we're gonna pre-drill holes into the wood. I'll put that one there and then I'm going to do it slightly above the base of the tree. All right, and then I'm actually going to cut a piece of wood that goes right here to stop it from sliding through. So now that those are pre marked, I'm going to cut the little piece of wood here and then I'm going to get the drill bit and pre drill all the holes and I'll screw it all together. Be right back. Okay, I cut my piece of block drilled the holes and now I'm going to pre-drill all the holes for those blocks and this and let's begin. All right, now that they're pre-drilled, let's uh, screw everything together. seems attached. All the sawdust. All right. Let's see if this slides in. There we go. A little bit of wiggle room, but that's be fine. Voila. There you go. Attached. Now it can easily be disassembled. That way it's not so uh, tall if it has to go in a compact area or whatnot. All right, now time to attach the pumpkin and the cat. All right, I pre drilled the holes for the pumpkins. Put the pumpkins here and the cat right here. And now I need to screw them in. I'm hand screwing them in so it doesn't crack the wood. Just in case. All right. All right. 
All right, next time uh, I'm gonna add the lights in, the chain on the uh, kickstand, and then I decide I'm gonna actually add a couple of bats into the tree, hanging from the tree. So I'm gonna cut those out, paint them, and hang those, and they'll be all done. See you next time.